a court in Imo State had found the Nigerian army establishment guilty and have charged them to pay 200 million naira in damages for killing a businessman in Imo State. So the man was killed in 2021 on July 30th. And um, he has family members, of course. He was killed at a military checkpoint. And the name of this man is, this businessman is Noel Chibu. And the brothers, the family, said that they will not accept this one, that they must get to the bottom of what happened to Noel. So his brother, by the name of Tobechi, went all out and stood his ground that justice must be done. He must find out what happened, how his brother died, and who killed him. And eventually it turned out to be the military. And they made a case at the court. He went to court to seek redress. He asked for two, uh, one billion. And at the end of the day, the court offered 200 million as compensation to the family for the unlawful killing of their son by some military men from the Obin barracks in Imo State. That would be in the barracks that have terminated the life of so many young people and old people alike. This time, the court has said they have to pay for what they did to this young man. Before we give you the rest of the details, because it's a long story, but we're going to summarize it, we kindly urge you please to subscribe to our channel, click on the notification bell so that our future uploads will come directly to you. Give us a thumbs up so that YouTube will also Share this to more viewers. Right. So the man, Noel, was shot at a choke point um, around the 30th of uh, July last year. And the brother insisted on finding out what happened to uh, Noel when he discovered that he has been killed and dumped to, at a morgue in Oweri. So he went to a morgue. And they told him that the man was brought there by military people. And when the military brought him to be put there, the keepers asked the military what happened to him. They have to tell them what happened. The person they are bringing, what happened to him. And you know the military, they started to threaten the staff that worked there. Saying, why should they ask them what happened to the young man? That is none of their business. That is dead is dead. They found uh, 5,000 naira in his pocket. And one of the military men, for a very strange reason, wrote his phone number, telephone number, down. So when the brother traced um, this let uh, Noel to the mortuary, he saw the money and he saw also the number that was written down by the police. And he went to the police, uh, the number written down by the soldier, and he went to the police to report. And the police said, well, that they took him to the morgue because they, they have take, gotten a statement. They know that he was dead and he was killed by military men. And the military men came to the office, they asked them to write a statement. They didn't want to write. And after insisting, they just put down a few things on paper that the man was killed. So, armed with the phone number that the uh, military wrote on paper, the brother said that he must seek justice. So, he wrote petitions to the Imo State Governor, to the, repre the Senator representing his zone and the House of Assembly and all of them. And then some kind, I even went to the military bars in Obins and some kind of investigation started. The military set up a court martial. The military set up um, their military unit to investigate the death, not actually a court, a court martial. And in the process, they found out that the bullet that was used in killing the young man, two bullets were stuck in his head. One was shot from the back. Which means that he did not to disobey checkpoint rules because if somebody disobeys checkpoint rule, 
normally they shoot them from the front but one of the blades came from the back and another one looked like they opened the door and then shot him because the military investigation showed the closeness uh, uh, closeness of the bullet that hit him and they concluded that he was close range the door has been opened the windscreen was not shattered this time so and with this uh, document finding of the military and uh, the punch newspaper also did a very huge investi undercover investigation and brought out a report and armed with these documents the brother went to court to seek uh, justice for the unlawful killing of uh, the businessman called Noel. So eventually it was based on punch investigation report that it was now revealed that the soldiers that it was the same bullet that shattered the back windscreen and that bullet is it was embedded in the a, a young man's head so it was concluded that it was fired from the back and if uh, the businessman actually violated the checkpoint rule nobody should have fired from the back it was it should be from the front and the warrant officers also explained that the other two blade holes found indicated that the soldiers must have opened the door to shoot at him. So in a petition, the brother filed on May 4, 2021. Um, he petitioned the brigade commander of 32 Artillery Brigade Obinze, Brigadier General Raymond Osala, and called on the military authority to identify and prosecute the soldiers that allegedly murdered his brother. So the bottom line is that he went to court also to seek redress and a court in Oweri, Imo State found that the military actually killed the brother unlawfully and they awarded 200 million naira fine against the military establishment in Obinze, Imo State which is basically the military establishment in Nigeria. So it's a very long uh, story, but this is the best way we can summarize it to you for uh, for you. The question is: Now that this has happened, it has opened a, a floodgate or a way for people whose relations were shot dead by these military establishments. He has now confirmed that they can actually go to court and seek redress against the military. This man did fought for his brother, and now here he is. There is a judgment, and there is a compensation. 200 million naira is not a question of the money, because their life has been lost. You can never get it back, no matter the amount that is paid. But at least there is now a precedent that people can fall on and challenge such atrocities. The big question is then, is the military going to pay? The judgment has been done, is on record, and let's see what happens. This is all we want to bring to you about this uh, unfortunate incident. Please kindly subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. Click on the notification bell so that our uploads will come directly to you. Share this video and see you in our next one.